Welcome to Wide Family Farm. I'm sitting here in my car, just got out of work. Thanks for coming in and supporting my channel. Um, <clears throat> turn down the AC a little bit because I can't hear. So thank you guys for coming in and hanging out today. Um, I've just been super busy. And I told you yesterday about my credit card incident with the nail salon. So um, I won't have melon for a while. So as soon as I get that under control, then um, everything will be fine. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Thank you guys for all your support. Thank you to all my members. Thanks for being members um, to my channel. I really appreciate it. 99 cents a month and you can be a member of Wide Family Farm. And it really just... I have so many um, members only videos. So you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, hello in person watching. Um, it's a beautiful day today. It's, it's 68 degrees here in Ohio. And I don't know. I think tomorrow we might be planting carrots. I got carrots and radishes I need to put in the ground. And um, it's not too late yet. Hey, second person, give me a thumbs up. So, yeah. So, how has everybody been since yesterday? Um, I've just been uh, super tired. Super, super, super tired. Hello, third person. Hello, everybody. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hey, Guardian. Thanks for coming in. Um, but yeah, so I haven't decided what bed I'm going to be putting, um, my carrots and stuff in yet. There we go, I like that better. I haven't decided which beds I'm going to be putting my carrots and stuff in yet, or my radishes. I still have to figure that out. I still have, like, a lot of, of stuff I'm going to be putting in the ground, and stuff I'm going to be direct sowing this year. So, have to get that underway. I actually cannot wait to um, get some produce started to actually get some things going. It'll be good. So, tell, tell me about your day. Leave, a com leave some comments. Tell me about your day. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, please. Thank you much. I'd appreciate it. Hello, all five people. Um, ugh, I went back to drinking Diet Coke. It's not good. I'm not too happy about that. Um, my work has Diet Coke, and I'm like, take advantage of it. And yeah, so I've been drinking Diet Coke a lot, actually. So, not too happy about that. Um, what else? Was invited to see a client and then they weren't there. That sucks. That wastes your time. That stinks. I'm sorry. So do I really only have you watching and the rest of the people are trolls and they're not that's why they're not giving me a thumbs up? I figured. Hey Chipper. Just in from the garden, huh? Yeah, I just got out of work. I'm waiting to pick up my son from school. Ooh, I love caramel popcorn. Caramel is like my favorite candy of all times. It is. Um, I don't really like chocolates or anything like that, but caramel, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's good. Um, today in the cafeteria, we had pizza. It was pizza day. It used to be, ooh, I had 10 and I dropped down to four. Like, what in the hell's going on? Like, what? Okay, so it used to be that we never had options. It was like a slab of pizza and some corn or something. Pizza always went with corn. I don't know why, but it did. And, um... It was never an op like multi we didn't have multiple options. Now there's so many options. There's stuffed crust. 
There's French bread pizza. There's flatbread pizza. There, I'm like, how many options do kids need? And then today at the end of the day, they wasted so much pizza. Because kids didn't come through the line to eat it. Kind of sucks. My mother was a lunch lady. She always knew when I got in trouble at school before I did. I didn't stand a chance. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I'm a lunch lady now. <laughs> so, get to spy on Fred a little bit. Yes, I do remember you. <laughs> so, what are you guys doing in your gardens? What are you planting? I j and then today it rained a little bit. Oh my God, I woke up this... Okay, so I had the bedroom window open. And I had the fan going last night. And all I heard this morning were turkeys. So I get, I go downstairs or whatever, and I take Fred to school. I come back and I lay down for a little bit before I have to come to work. And <laughs> there was turkeys on the porch. Yes, yes, this is an everyday Monday through Friday experience here. <laughs> so yeah um so there were turkeys on my porch just the one she like and then it's funny because i could see out the window and i had a turkey in the backyard looking at me all three of them chilling out looking at me through the window i'm experimenting with oh electroculture this year, I was skeptical, but only a few weeks in, and I'm convinced it'll be a success. Cool. I'm afraid to, not afraid to do that. I did do that last year, and it didn't really do anything for me. Um, I put some copper in the in the garden and, and stuff like that. Maybe I just need to do more than one. I don't know. Two strawberry beds, the copper up bed way ahead of the non-copper. That's interesting. Hey, Joe. Thanks for coming in. That's very, very interesting. Um, we had to put, I don't know if you guys saw my video. I just put out one yesterday, but um, we had to put a cage around our strawberries because the chickens kept breaking in. But I have a bud or a flower on one of my strawberry plants and i was so excited and like oh it's getting ready it's ready i was so excited hey kathy bates what's up girl thanks for coming in i love you kathy bates it's a beautiful day but it's just really overcast um it's 68 degrees here i don't know what it's like where you are kathy but it's just like cloudy and nasty, but at the same time, it's really hot. It's really weird. It's probably going to rain. It rained earlier this morning, but it wasn't like a big deal. So. Yep. So I washed all my dishes today and I got out five minutes before I was supposed to. Moon over Miami! Whoop, whoop. What's up? <laughs> How have you been? I've been thinking about you a lot lately. And I was like, I wonder what he's doing. 70 degrees up north here. Oh, well, geez. It's hotter up north than it is down south. Um, yeah, it's only 68 here. Moon over Miami's in the house. Thanks for coming in. Um, I haven't got like a chicken video from you in a while. And I was like, where did he go? He disappeared. <laughs> but I'm so excited. Like this job, I, you guys don't know. Well, you probably do. I was a stay at home. I'm stay at home mom. I have been for six years, you know? And so getting this job is like really 
helped me like get out of the house and do something and and stuff like that so kind of happy about that and I'm excited because also I don't have to work in the summer I don't have to work on holidays and stuff like that so um, or when the kids don't have school I don't work stuff like that so it's it's a perfect job for me and um, so I'm really excited and I hope to stay on next year as well so that'll be even better mid 50s in Jersey till Saturday yikes just cold and nasty but today it's warm it's very very warm um, I'm sure at some point or another it's gonna be cold here like it's not over yet it can't be too much over because I still have to plant stuff <laughs> I have to plant my carrots and stuff I had to check my Clyde's garden planner to see if I was um, to see if I was even remotely close to where I should be planting carrots and it said the 19th so it's it's the same Ginger, the ninja, most valuable comment. Hello, thanks for coming in. And you're from India. Thank you for coming in. Going up to 86 in middle America today. Had to kick on the AC. Oh. Yeah, it's hot. But that's okay. I, You guys, I cannot complain one bit about this weather. And every time it's hot... I do not complain one bit because it could be like negative five here and I'm not complaining. I hate the cold weather. I never leave the house when it's cold and so I am not complaining about it one bit. It can be as hot as it wants. I'll throw on the AC or something, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Just don't want it cold. <laughs> um... But yeah, so got to Usually my gardening times are, and it's this is rare that I wake up early in the morning to garden. That's not my thing. But um, usually later on in the evening, I will um, do my gardening. So around five, six o'clock in the evening, and then I just put on mosquito spray. So um, it's still usually pretty hot during that time. But not near as hot as it is at 12 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. Oh, I want to tell you about that most valuable. Um, the other day, I was really, really dehydrated. Like, super dehydrated. It was yesterday, actually. I did not feel good. And I know it was because I wasn't drinking enough water. Hey, Myra, thanks for coming in. I know it was because I was dehydrated. I just felt like crap. I had no energy. I was like, even a little bit nauseous. And um, I was like, I was drinking water. I'm just like, it wasn't enough. I need to get like those hydration packets or something. Mimsy told me about them. Um, and they're like little things you put in your water to keep yourself hydrated. I need to get something like that because when I get dehydrated, I just feel like utter crap. Like it's not good. Electoral. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that was a good advice there, Guardian. I didn't really know what to say to that. The morning time, I walk around and pep talk the garden. And the evening is when I do most of the gardening. Yeah. Yeah. When we were getting in the belows, 50 degrees was warm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. But planting, I like to do early. Yeah. I don't know. 
I know one time it was like, it was like getting really, really dark out and it was like 11 o'clock at night and we were still planting stuff. Dustin got a light out at one of those huge like spotlights and put it over the garden and we were still planting and it was like dark. <laughs> it's like, well, we're planting. I really don't have any advice for you. I was trying to think about it. I don't really have any advice to you uh, about a breakup. Now, it just depends, too, if they're breaking up with you. If they're breaking up with you, then try your best not to contact them <laughs> in any way. Um, I like to do gardening whenever I don't have other responsibilities, so around 2% of my time. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. But I rely on my, my gardening to um, feed my family. Um, I don't like grow everything, but I grow side dishes. Basically, that's what I assume, you know, think of it as. And so, um, I grow that so I can can it and, and freeze it and everything else. So, um, yeah, I love planting and gardening since Corona. Oh, okay. Shrug off those responsibilities. Gardening is more rewarding. It is. It is a lot. It's a lot, though. It's a lot of time. For me, it's a lot of time and dedication. Um, it is my hobby. It's my side hobby. It's my only hobby that I can dedicate my, myself to right now. I do have other hobbies. Like, I, I go... To, I belong to, like, clubs. I belong to, like, a gar my local garden club and stuff like that. But even then, I have a... You know... I have to balance my time. I can't just spend all my time doing my hobbies. Wish I could. <sighs> yeah. Um. This is funny. My husband and I were always really into... I was always really into gardening and canning. And then... Um, we... You know, that was our plan when we moved to the house in 2018 to do that gardening and canning and and um and stuff like that and then um the you know corona came and we <laughs> it was just such a mess because everybody started doing it you know and we just, you know, some stuff we couldn't get. And it was just really, really frustrating. But it's different now. A lot of people have stopped doing that, because, you know. And so we're getting more and more different types of stuff, like canning stuff and, and, and you know, all that kind of thing. But in the beginning, like, you couldn't even buy a canner. The canners were so expensive. I think the one big all American was like a thousand bucks around that time. It has dropped significantly. I think it's like six hundred dollars now or less. But there for a while it was so freaking expensive. It was ridiculous. So it put us on hold quite a bit. During that time, I don't think I ever left the house, though. Um, maybe to grocery shop, but if we did grocery shop, but I never left the house, ever. I stayed main, inside. I just picked up a 22-quart T-file canner off Amazon for 65 bucks. Nice. Very nice. I've never seen those before. That's very interesting. Um, I have a Presto and I have a really, really small All American. And then uh, Tammy has a big All American for me. And I just have to get it from her. So when she comes up in June, she'll be bringing it. Hey, Shawnee Chef. Thanks for coming in. Aw, did he just give you a poop troop salute? He did. Look at that. It was a poop troop salute. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. Hey, what's up, Happy Mac? I'm at the airport waiting to go to my dad for his birthday. I forgot my darn earbuds. Oh, sorry. That really sucks. Because when you're on the plane, there's really not anything to do. But we... Oh, sorry, I had to yawn. But read. And, yeah, read. <laughs> I didn't plan. Okay. When I first planted tulips, they all got eaten. I spent a lot of money on those damn tulips. I was so pissed that they all got eaten. And I have not um, planted any since because of that reason. I wasn't even about to even start it because it made me so mad. Um, so there's no tulips at my house. I do have lots of irises though. Um, I have like ones that are so dark they look black. And those are my favorites. As an old farmer, knowing how we did canning and gardening and you guys doing it a newer way is like east eats west. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you could do people watching at the airports, but not on the plane. I guess if you want people to think you're a weirdo. <laughs> I don't know. Not on the plane. I mean, on the plane, there's really nothing to do. Oh, I just saw a cute little girl coming out of the car. She has, like, the cutest glasses on. So cute. Um. But, yeah. So. <laughs> but the plane, like, okay. I went, I flew one time. This is my second time flying. No, it was my first time flying by myself. And I was being brave. And uh, my friend at the time lived in South Carolina. And I was like, well, I'm like, I'm going to buy my ticket and go down. My ticket was like $300. And um, I had her, I was real nervous because I was worried she wasn't going to pick me up from the airport. I got real paranoid about that. So anyway, we, I flew to South, on my way there, I was flying to Somerset. I sat next to a doctor <laughs> and so we had like really awesome interesting conversation she was going to some kind of convention in DC or something and we like chatted it up and it was really awesome and then on my way from Somerset no um, I, I flew to Georgia Airport Georgia Atlanta and then from Atlanta I went to Somerset which has a really really small airport and um, on my way from Atlanta to Somerset, I sat next to this little old lady and we chatted it up the whole time. It was so great. It, it, she was so much fun. Of course not on the plane. <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna people watch on the plane, you, they might kick you off. I do people watch already seen enough <laughs> i don't go to airports i don't want to fly anywhere if i can't drive there i'm not going <laughs> the missus is telling me lunch is ready if there's a thing i don't do it's miss a meal oh okay chipper see you later <laughs> um yeah i uh and then on my way home that was the worst. I was, one, I was tired. Um, and two, I sat next to this couple and I sat next to the guy and he did not talk to me. I missed my pretzels because I fell asleep. I was pissed. I used to go to the mall, get my coffee and sat and people watched. I met some interesting people when they sat next to me you know my mouth i think they thought i escaped the loony bed <laughs> oh kathy no you you're funny i don't think they thought that you're a very interesting person kathy so man but anyway, I'm hungry. I didn't eat anything today. 
my neighbors probably think the same. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure my neighbors think I'm real loony. They probably think I'm an environmentalist or something. I'm I'm really careful about that. Because I I don't I'm not a liberal or anything. There are certain things I believe in, but I'm real careful about expressing that because I don't want people categorizing me as a loony or um or something like that. So I'm real careful. But I... I get mad at my neighbors if they spray their yard. Can I say that? I get mad. He has a guy that comes out in his little vehicle thingy. And he sprays his yard. Okay? Well, the one day... He sprayed the yard. And... His wife was like, My flowers didn't come up this year. I don't know what happened. And I'm like, do you not know that your husband sprayed the yard? <laughs> like, I was like, what? I like to goof around, but some people can't handle my honesty. People. Hello, Anne. Thanks for coming in. If you're new here, if you guys are new or whatever, you know, just hit the thumbs up. Just chime in. We're not shy around here. Everybody loves honesty until you're honest with them. Yeah, that's true. That's very, very true. Um, I'm an honest, I'm very honest person, but I don't like to hurt people's feelings. So if, if there's something going on, I will not point it out. Um... I'm just real reserved in that way. I don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. I'm not going to be like, hey, your ass is hanging out. Why don't you put on a pair of pants or something like that? I'm on a live with you. Not sure, though. I got on so many. Okay. But I would never, I would never purposely hurt somebody's feelings by being so honest that it cuts like a knife or something, you know? I'm just... Not that way. But. Sometimes you have to be a little bit honest with people. Break it down for them. Mm-hmm. Hey, Kathleen. Thanks for coming in, girl. We had a fun time last night on Grow Big TV. Um, I'm sorry, you guys. My computer has been horrible. But I figured out what was going on. And this is, this is what's really going on, okay? I, a while back, applied for a grant to get a tractor, okay? Because... The United States offers several grants, especially in the state of Ohio, for you can get a you could get a um, a tractor, or you could get a high tunnel. And I applied for a grant, but I had to download Adobe to do it. And I thought I erased Adobe off my computer completely, but last night when I logged in, a thing popped up saying it was loading Adobe. That's why my computer has been so slow. I hate Adobe. I always have. I never wanted to really download it, but I thought I had to for this for this grant application. So I um, erased that last night. By the way, it had over a thousand things in it. It was making my it was just dragging my computer down. So I erased that and a couple of other other things that I didn't need and or use anymore. So, um, hopefully now it, it's back on track, but I was just pissed. I'm like, what is going on? And it was Adobe. I couldn't, I thought I erased it, but I must've just erased it from my desktop and not from the actual modem. So I figured that out and got rid of it. 
yeah, it just sucks. Well, I also have a Mac. Adobe leaves a note in your bios. Yeah, I don't like Adobe. I just don't. I never have. And the only reason why I did download it is because I thought I needed it. Ooh, my son's girlfriend made a meatloaf. She asked me how it is, how it was. I told her I didn't like it. Had to be honest. Jeez, she would make it for me me again i told her the cheesy potatoes was better than mine <laughs> well that's good Bra i don't know how to pronounce that braid zazel i don't know thank you for coming in sorry i don't know how to pronounce your name yeah we're gonna have um gary polarchik on on tuesday and i'm really excited about that interview it's just gonna be really great and he's like really, really respected in the, um, in the gardening community. He's, he's very smart. So I can't wait to, um, actually interview him. It's going to be really great. I, because of Grow Big TV, I have interviewed so many awesome people. And I myself have really wide interests in a lot of things. So I have like a lot of bredazzle. Bredazzle. That's it. Thank you. Yeah, bredazzle. Um I just have a wide range of knowledge in my brain about certain things. And so um I just love picking these people's brains. And getting a little bit of this more insight on a lot of things. It's, it's really cool. So, super excited about interviewing Gary on Tuesday. I also do have a wide range of interests. Yeah, me too. Me too. None of which I... I mean, gardening is just one of them. But I, I have interest in everything. I really love looking at the stars and planets... I had a telescope. I had one. I need, I would like to get another one. I'm not either. I'm not an expert in any. Um, I know a lot about gardening just because I've read up on a lot of stuff. But <laughs> Yes, I do too, Ann. I'm the same way. And, oh, somebody has an electric Mustang. Brand new. I wonder if it's a teacher. Um, no, it's a young kid. <laughs> it's a young kid. He's like 20 years old, literally. 20 years old. Driving a brand new electric Mustang. Hybrid or something. Yeah, I'm always learning um, gardening stuff. Always. Always. Um, I'm learning more about the soil than I ever have. Um, things of you know, Grow Big TV has really expanded my knowledge quite a lot, actually. And sometimes I even challenge myself to go on courses just to show myself I can learn. Yeah, I do, I do that, too. I took... Um, some gardening classes a while back. They were um, through the water and soil, whatever, through my county. And um, yeah, I took some uh, classes. It was really cool. Um, learned a lot about native, it was a native plant class, that's what it was. Learned a lot about native plants. Learned a lot about goldenrod and bees and all different kinds of cool stuff. So I really liked that. <sighs> I recently got an advanced master's in herbalism and I'm 60. Awesome. That's awesome, Ann. You, that's amazing. That's really cool. 
No, it does not look like a Mustang. It looks, it has a hatchback too, which is very strange. So it's kind of copying off like the 1980s models with the hatchback and the, but it's just very strange looking. Yes, I agree. They don't look like Mustangs at all. And I don't even like the symbol on it. The symbol on it is really sleek too. The, um, the horse, it's like, eh, I don't know. Yeah, I would be, yeah, that's something to be proud of. Yeah, and you can never stop learning. It's never too late to continue education. I thought about doing that, but I just don't really, I don't want to waste my money, so I never really know exactly what I want to do. I really, really, really like working with kids. I probably should have gotten, um, my because I went to school for secondary education um, a while back and I probably should have continued with it. I know what I think a gold rod is. I'm sure, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Golden rod. Okay, I don't know if you're being serious or not. But golden rod is a plant, it's yellow and it pops up out of the ground usually see it in the fall. I saw a farmer earlier this morning picking it out of his field. It has rhizomes, so it's really, really hard to get rid of. So you never want to plant. If you have a back field with it, that's one thing, but you never want to plant it anywhere near any of your gardens or anything like that. You'll never be able to get rid of it. My council nursery is a native plant nursery, but we have some vegetable space for us. Awesome awesome anything with a rhizome is really really hard to get rid of um except for i planted ginseng it has a rhizome and it hasn't popped back up so maybe you can't kill it <laughs> at spencer gifts i haven't been in a i haven't been to a mall in a really really long time but I have definitely not been to Spencer Gifts in a really, really long time. Like, I can't remember the last time. That's funny. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> yeah, and Goldenrod's good for a lot of things. Like, um, you can make teas and tinctures and all different kinds of stuff out of it. I don't care to do that. But you can. You can. Um... And it's really pretty. I love it in the fall, especially when the um, purple asters are up. You got purple asters and goldenrod and stuff like that. It just looks, the scenery just looks so beautiful, you know. But I also am really, really into, I love bugs and stuff. I, I, when we went to the nature center or the botanical gardens the other day and we were looking at all this cool stuff, like, I'm just like really like bugs too. I'm like, I have a lot of wide interest in things and, um, I don't know. And I think, I think that's another part of gardening too, is you got to know your bugs. Because if you don't know your bugs, you don't know anything about gardening. You know, so you got to know which bugs are good and which bugs are bad. And um, some bugs are really, really interesting. Um, some ants pollinate. Like I have peonies everywhere that are popping up right now. And without the ants, they wouldn't be able to open. The ants pollinate them. So, just stuff like that. Um, I just like to learn about different things. Yes, we do need bugs, for sure. And I just learned that bugs, like beetles and stuff, they pollinate too. Mike Fowler, you're in trouble. Keep it up. I have a problem with wasps coming here chasing bees away. Hmm. 
Really? That sucks. I, what kind of bees though? Is it honeybees? Because usually they don't interact very much. So that's very, very interesting. I learned the other day, somebody posted a fake beehive or a fake wasp nest. And I didn't know, I mean, I did know, I didn't, whatever. I There's some things I really don't know about it, but I guess if you put up a fake wasp nest, um, the carpenter bees, okay. I guess I don't have any cloud, co I have cloud coverage or something. That's what it said. I didn't know they were attacking the bees. That kind of sucks. I don't like the carpenter bees at all. I know they pollinate, but I have them in my garden because of the wooden posts um, that we have for the pasture fence. And they're super, super annoying. And they buzz around my head. I know one year, and I hate to say this because I know people love bees, but one year I had an electric fly swatter and I was whacking them with it because they would be so annoying. And I hate to kill bees, but they were way like up in my face trying to attack me. Do carpenter bees sting? I don't even think they sting. I think they're just bullies. They pretend to be bullies anyway. I have heard of fake wasp nests. Yeah, you can buy a fake wasp nest. Or I heard that you can take a paper bag and crumple it up. And they will think that that is a wasp nest too. The queen's wasps hide in the wood over the winter. You know what I really don't like about wasps? Um, and I need to video this because yesterday I saw it. And I really, I love mason bees. And I have a lot of mason bee houses around my property. And I saw a bunch of them swarming around the mason bee house the other day. So I need to get a video of that. But you know what I really don't like is the wasps. They go in there and they eat the mason bees, and I don't like that. Wasps are really, really mean. I know they're needed, like some are really needed in the garden and stuff, but I just don't like them. I don't know what the bees are, I just know they pollinate. I'm having a problem with these big hornets, some the size of your thumb. They get in my face, and when I try to get away, they'll chase me. I, what color are they? I wonder if those are the European hornets that I was telling you about. <laughs> I gotta watch out for the tool belt. Seriously, did anybody know if carpenter bees sting? I don't know. But last year, they were gone and had, no, had nothing to pollinate. Hmm. I don't know. If they are the European hornets, stay the hell away from them. Their sting, I guess, is really bad. Then I found the massive wasp nest in my loft. Huh. Somebody, I don't think, this is going to be a debatable subject, but I watched somebody put a little bit of gasoline, like in a mason jar, and they held it over top of the wasp nest. Like they put it up, you know, on it and held it there for a minute. All the wasps died. And then they just scraped it off and then they threw it away. I don't know if that's all humane or if that's right. I just saw a video on it. Um, yeah. But I saw that. Somebody doing that. And um, it, they literally just dropped off. They were those paper wasps or whatever that have like that comb type of nest. <laughs> My lips are so freaking dry, guys. I don't even know what to do about it. It hurts. Driving me crazy. I talked to all honeybees, bumblebees, and wasps. We all have understanding, but those hornets, I don't like at all. If they're red and they're kind of furry, 
they're red and have red and yellow, but it's really prominent. Um, those are European hornets and they're big. They are, they're really big. They're not like those Asian hornet. It's not like that, but they're big. Carpenter bees do sting. Oh no, I hate them. And they're in my garden every year. Every year I try to be so brave, but they really like fly around your head. One thing I also don't like is a bald face hornet. Yeah, I think that's a European hornet, Ginger, that you're dealing with. And FYI, they're nocturnal, so they will be outside at night. Female carpenter bees can sting, but only if you bother them. Male carpenter bees don't have stingers. Okay, so how do you tell a female from a male? It's probably the males that are swarming around my head. Hmm. Okay, a wasp, I think, is black and usually has a white stripe. That's a paper wasp. And then the ones that you're talking about, Ian, I believe that's the hornet. It's not a wasp. I believe that is a hornet. Yeah, and they're nasty suckers. Hornets, I don't think paper wasps are as near as aggressive as hornets. Like, hornets are just really nasty, nasty bees. Especially a bald face hornet. A bald face hornet is all black and has, and they're kind of big, and they have a white stripe on their back of their abdomen. And, um, they're just nasty. And they will, they will follow you. They will follow you and attack you. I had a bald face hornet's nest, but it was way, 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 way up in the tree. And I kept seeing them in my garden. Um, but I just kind of stayed away from them. They didn't really do much. But yeah, I heard that they can be really nasty and they will follow you. And they're nasty looking. They're kind of scary. Yeah, hornets are just not, they're not fun, scary. I like all the ones that are cute, like the mason bees and stuff like that. Carpenter bees and bumblebees don't usually sting unless you step on them. They dive bomb, but won't usually hit you unless you swing and smack them. They can only sting once, though. Oh, okay. Yeah just like a honeybee. So their last action is going to be to sting you. They don't want to sting you because once they sting you, they'll die. So that's the same with a honeybee. Usually bumblebees are pretty chill. They're like, they call them like the dogs of the bee world and they're super friendly. I've seen people save them and everything else. So pretty cute. And I have a bee here that is big, slow, and yellow striped, and they go for meat, not flowers. Yes, that sounds, if they're big and yellow and striped like that, that sounds like a um, yellow jacket. Yellow jackets are really nasty too, and you got to be careful. They make their nests in the ground, and a lot of people mow over top of them, and they get attacked. So you just have to be really careful of those. They are just territory, especially during breeding, but their lifespan isn't very long. Yeah. Aw. I just really, really like bumblebees, and they're super cute when people take pictures of them when they're, like, in a flower, and they're, like, passed out in a flower. I just saw a picture the other day and it was so stinking cute. It was like this little cute bumblebee and he was all like in the flower and all you saw was his butt and his little legs hanging out. It was so cute. Males have a yellow patch on their faces while the faces of females appear solid black. Oh, okay. Males have a yellow patch on their face while the faces of females appear solid black. Okay. I wonder if the if the males are bigger than the females kind of thing. The bumble 
and the carpenter bees hear I tell them to keep the wasp and the hornets away, and they will. Yeah, because they don't get along. They are very territorial. Um, it's very, very interesting. I, the, I think the most things you hear about are honeybees, are, and that's really, like, the most bees that you hear about, but you forget about the other ones, and, um, like, bumblebees and mason bees and all of that. Um, I know a few years back, I can't show you a picture because I'm on my phone, but a few years back we had, um, all black honeybees. That was really cool. I had to look it up to see exactly what they were. And when I did, it was like all black honeybee. Very cool. I don't know where they came from or if somebody had them in their hive. Um, but it was really, really interesting. I tell my kids not to swing, but to wave like a horse would swing its tail. And the bees don't see you as aggressive. That's very interesting too. Hmm. I didn't know that. But yeah, in the past, especially with those um, carpenter bees, I had an electric fly swatter, and they would get whacked. I didn't mess around, because they're destructive, kind of, too. And they were in my, um, I have a pasture with the uh, fence posts. They're wooden, and they get in those fence posts. And they're always around my garden. And so, um, in that case, I would, I was just whacking them. Those big hornets I'm talking about eat the bees, though, I think. Yes, I think they do. They're nasty suckers. My first experience, though, with them... My first experience with those Asian hornets was I was in my backfield uh, picking apples. We had two... We still kind of do. We have two apple trees back there um, that have been around... Um, my grandfather planted them, so they've been around forever, at least... 40, 50 years. Um, and so, um, we were out there picking apples and I saw them on the ground, like going after the apples. And I was like, what is that? It's like, it's red and yellow and it's really weird. They're kind of fuzzy looking. And I'm like, what is that? It scared me. So I just like got away, you know? And then I saw them last year. They were all over my apple trees and they were eating the apples and they are nasty and they're big and they're also nocturnal. They fly around at night. Female, female carpenter bees choose chew circular holes through the wood to make individual galleries to lay eggs and protect their larvae as they develop. I think so too, Ginger. Hold on. Yes, I think they do. Hornets are nasty. I dropped a brick on a really big hornet and I think that's why the others are coming after me now they can remember faces can they really remember faces that's scary that's really scary um, but last year all the while I was picking my apples and stuff you could hear them they are so big you can hear them they're like Zzzz, and it's like it's very loud and yeah, very scary. And um, I took a bunch of pictures of them, but I don't have them on this phone anymore. But very, very scary. Not my cup of tea, I can tell you that much. <laughs> they creep me out. Okay, this is funny. I got a story for you guys. So yeah, um, when we went to the bot botanical gardens, there was a wasp in one of the garden um, greenhouses that we went in. And one of the ladies pointed it out. She's like, hey, there's a wasp in here. Well, the woman that was running that area said, we don't kill anything. She literally picked up the wasp, picked it up, and put it outside and didn't get stung. And I'm like, how the hell did you do that? She just picked it up. I'm like, mm-mm, you wouldn't see me doing that. Oh, hell no. <laughs> very, very scary. I 
I wear sundresses a lot and I just know one day they're going to get under my dress and make me run around. <laughs> yes. You know what's funny? There was this couple and they did at the superb event that we went to um, last year with Tammy. They were doing some kind of bee thing and they had one of those like gazebo tent things and then they were inside with their bees so their bees wouldn't go anywhere. And they were demonstrating how to, uh, their, you know, beehive or whatever. Well, she was wearing a skirt. And then the only thing she had on to protect her was the, one of those hat things protecting her face. And that was pretty much it. And she was going through and opening the hive or whatever. And a bee came out and stung her right underneath her skirt. Yeah. Right as we were watching, she's like, oh, I just got stung. I'm like, yeah. Scary. All right, guys. Well, I hate to end this. I love each and every one of you, but I'm going to have to end this because I have to get my son from school. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting Wide Family Farm. And um, don't forget... Tuesday, we're having Gary Palarchek on, so it's going to be a good time on Grow Big TV. If you haven't subscribed to that, make sure you do. That's very interesting, Kathy Bates. Thank you for that little bit of information about carpenter bees. I appreciate you. But I love you guys. Thank you for supporting my channel. And um, we will see you next time. I may go live tomorrow um, around the same time. And you have a good one. Bye, guys.